Hey, what's up, Climber Nation? Patrick here. So I am starting a new video series for my apprentice, Kendall. Um, he has been climbing with a standard doubled rope climbing system like this for a few months, and he is interested in moving into an SRT type of climbing system. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna start with for him is the classic uh, rope wrench. So the rope wrench is the original invention by Kevin Bingham that really brought SRT climbing to the masses. Um, it's simple, it's relatively cheap, and it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for uh, climbing. So I just wanted to take a look at the basic concept, the difference between doubled rope and SRT with a rope wrench, okay? So basically in doubled rope climbing, just move this over. In doubled rope climbing, uh, it's very simplistic. The way that we always set it up is our line is isolated over a crotch, and then the terminal end comes comes back down to us. Okay. So the concept here and why this works is um, there's always going to be friction up top, whether whether it's through a natural crotch or some type of cambium saver or friction saver device, there's always going to be some friction. So if your body weight is hanging on this system, um, it's you can think of it as your body weight minus whatever amount is on the, is from friction, right? And then half of what's remaining is on the terminal end and the other half of what's remaining is on the hitch cord itself. And this, this setup and distribution allows us to climb uh, in a doubled rope scenario. It allows us to ascend and descend on the hitch cord like this, okay? So if you wanted to climb SRT, all it really means is that you're gonna have to wrap your head around, instead of, instead of always anchoring the terminal end of your line back to yourself, you're gonna, you're gonna figure out different ways of anchoring the terminal end to the tree in a way that is retrievable, okay? That's really, that's really all SRT is. And the reason that we do that is because it opens up a whole bunch of options for uh, creative climbing and redirects, and it means that you're, you have to deal with only half as much slack, which is nice. Um, so, so if you were to try it, if you were to take your double line system and just try it just like this, um, what you would find is, first of all, you would have no problem ascending. You can go up just fine. The problem is when you put your weight into it and you try to descend. Because, because we've switched it from, as we said, uh, less than half of our body weight before was on the hitch. Now what we have is all of our body weight is on this hitch. And what this means is when we try to start descending, you can go down probably about 10 feet or so, three meters or so, uh, before this hitch cord will just absolutely, it'll just lock up so tight and you'll just be stuck in place. The only way to continue would be to take all of the weight off of your hitch and you would have to come in with your hands and actually massage some slack into this hitch cord to loosen it up and then you would be able to, once again, continue descending for another few feet before it would lock up again, okay? So that is why you cannot just take your, your doubled line system, right? <clears throat> you can't just take it and then, and then just, just anchor it differently and climb with a hitch just like this. So this is where the, uh, the rope wrench comes in. Okay, so here's a rope wrench system, right? So the, the, difference between, the difference between the doubled line system is that we've added uh, a fixed uh, stiff tether with a rope wrench on top, okay? So the way that the rope wrench works is when it's under load, the rope wrench will, it will rotate up into the engaged position. And what that does is it puts a sharp S bend into the rope. And that S bend ends up taking up more than half of your body weight. If you look at how I've got this set up, 
the hitch and the rope wrench are both connected to my main carabiner, which is connected to my bridge. So all of my body weight is hanging off of here. So in this setup with a rope wrench, what you have is more than half your body weight is being taken up by this S bend from the wrench. And then what's remaining is on the hitch, which puts us back into almost the same situation that we had in our uh, traditional um, doubled rope climbing system, right? So again, less than half of your body weight ends up being on the hitch. Okay, so that is why the rope wrench allows you to climb SRT. So it has, it has two working positions. Um, when you are ascending up the line, the rope wrench will actually rotate downwards like this. So that's called the neutral position. So in that position, as you're ascending, it's putting virtually zero friction on the line. It's like it's not even there. It's just the, des the, the design of it, right? So it rotates down into the neutral position. It's not until you engage with your full body weight that you'll see, you'll see the rope wrench rotate up into that, uh, that engaged position where once again, it's putting this hard uh, S-bend into the line, okay? So that's, that's just the very most basic concept of, of the wrench and, and how and why it works. Um, let's take a look at setting it up. So anyway, what you need for a wrench system is you need a stiff tether you want, you want to get one that has a tending point like this, um, and then a wrench, and then, and then just your regular stuff that you're, that you're familiar with, a hitch cord and some type of micro pulley. That's really all you need for a, uh, a, a hitch climber, uh, sorry, uh, a rope wrench setup, okay? So let's take a look at how, how to set this up first of all. So the rope wrench is marked up Okay, so this is how th this would be facing up. Um, you have the components are this slick pin, and then there's an integrated pulley below that. And then you have the two side plates, and then you have this bolt here. Okay, so the way that we install this is you get an Allen wrench and you open up this bolt like this. And then on the slick pin, I don't know if you can see this, you just push the pin in and it slides in. And now what you have is this pivot point. It pivots on the, uh, on the pulley there. So this is opened up. Now I'm gonna take my, uh, my stiff tether here. Um, so you'll see on the top where the wrench goes, there's a rubber, a, a rubber grommet. So that grommet has to go on the, uh, on the bottom side opposite of where it says up. So that's on the downside of, is the rubber grommet. And uh, that has to be there underneath of it to, uh, to, keep it from, to keep it from completely flopping down beyond the neutral position. The, the rubber grommet allows it to go into the neutral position and then it, from there it can transition back to the uh, engaged position, right? So just get that uh, Get that nice and tight, tighten that up. Okay, so there is our rope wrench set up, ready to go. Um, from there, um, I'm gonna take you guys out into the barn um, and I'm just gonna show you, it's hard, to, it's hard to show the setup of how to actually do this uh, on the table here. It, it needs to be hanging, the ropes need to be hanging vertically, okay? So let's just go outside and do that. Okay, so here we are out in the barn. Uh, we're gonna pretend that we're on the job site. This is our tree. We've already sunk a line into it and we have our climbing rope set up, okay? So now we're gonna look at how you actually install and use the rope wrench uh, in the tree. Um, something I should have mentioned inside when we were setting this up is there's all different options for these uh, stiff tethers. Um, there's long ones, there's shorter ones, some of them have, uh, some of them terminate in a single eye. Uh, a lot of them terminate in these twin double eyes. So there's lots of different options. Um, I'm going to show you 
one of my favorite options. This is uh, this is just a single eye stiff tether. Um, so the first thing to set up my system here is I'm going to do my wrench first. So on the wrench, on the, on the top, the slick pin, you can see that's the pin. You just use your thumbnail, open that up. Okay. Now it's going to be hard to see on the camera there, but in the bottom here, there's actually an indentation. And if you just rotate the pin around, then the pin sl slips into that indentation and it gives you a bit more clearance. Okay. So the way that this is designed is you never need to completely remove the slick pin because if you removed it, you could drop it and lose it. It's designed so all you ever have to do is open it up and twist it around to get your clearance, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it on the line and keep in mind that the wrench is marked up if this is your first time using it. So this is how it's gonna go. And the way that I like to do it is put it in there and just give your rope a twist like that and you'll see it pops right in there. And then I just take the slick pin and snap it into place, okay? So now that's installed, all I do is I just let go and the, the weight of this will hold it in place on the rope. I don't have to do anything, okay? So there's my uh, rope wrench. Now I'm gonna set up my hitch cord, okay? So I'm gonna show it here with a, uh, a four wrap uh, canute hitch, which is one of my current favorites. And yes, I know I need to make a separate video on how to tie this. But for now, whoops, there we go. Okay, so that's my hitch. Now all I need to do is uh, join everything together with a micro pulley and a carabiner. So for, for this type of tether with a single eye, I actually really like these, uh, these pinto pulleys. This makes a nice setup. So if I pop my, my pinto underneath my hitch cord, and then I just rotate the, uh, the tether around on the, on the rope wrench. So that eye is gonna go in the middle. And then on either side of that, I'm gonna put my hitch cord eyes. So I'm holding a bunch of things all at once here. I'm holding this micro pulley both eyes of my hitch cord and then the eye on the uh, tether. So I'm gonna take my carabiner and I'm just gonna tie all of those things together all in one shot like that. And then I'm gonna rotate my beaner around, okay? So that's, that's a really common uh, typical setup that I'll use for a rope wrench. Um, again, just to illustrate, the basic concept that I was trying to show inside. So the, the wrench has two positions. It has the downwards sloping, the neutral position like this, and then it has the upwards engaged position, which gives you that nice S bend, right? So when you are ascending up the line, you see that the, ro the wrench stays in the, uh, the neutral position. It's not until you put your weight into the rope and you're hanging from your, from your system now the wrench has moved into the middle position. It's still not actively uh, engaged with that S bend. It doesn't fully engage until, until I grab my hitch and I try to descend. And I descend a few inches before it finally fully engages, which is right there. So it gives you that strong S bend again. So that's gonna end up taking more than half your weight and the remainder is gonna be on the hitch, which is gonna allow, uh, allow you to climb. SRT. Okay, so that's the basic concept there. Um, I'll show you a couple other uh, variations with this style of, uh, of tether. If you have, you know, more of a typical uh, coming from a doubled rope setup, if you have something like a hitch climber or a, a float hitch or um, even, even an old school little CMI pulley, they have these swing side plates, right? We'll take a look at, uh, at a really common setup with this. So again, I'm gonna take my pulley underneath my hitch. Okay, I'm gonna take my carabiner 
through the one eye of my hitch, through that hole on my carabiner. Then I'm going to take my, uh, my tether, I'm going to pop that on the beaner, and then I'm going to put the last eye of my hitch cord, and then I'm going to rotate that around. Okay? So that is another simple, easy setup. Uh, you can see it, it ruins the symmetry of it for the, for the nerds in the crowd, um, which, is where, which is where these double die tethers would come in. If I had a double die tether instead of a single, I would, I would do the same thing, but the other, the other one, the other leg of this tether would be, uh, would be right here in the middle. Okay, so that's, that's uh, a basic setup for a rope wrench uh, based SRT uh, climbing system. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, hopefully I covered enough of the basic concepts that you can get some value from it. Uh, let me know in the comments if this made sense. Let me know what else I should cover. And uh, until next time, climb high, work smart, and read more. Patrick out.